to the southern snack where life is too short to be serious all right duncan is testing in raleigh slash the uh tri-city area in north carolina that's raleigh durham and why am i blanking out on the on the third i guess it's greensboro is that the third but there's a third city that makes it tri-city awesome right maybe it's chapel hill could be Chapel Hill. But anyways, they're testing out new beverages. I'm not so excited. I like coffee, right? I'm not a big, like, fruity drink person unless it's Mountain Dew soda. Um, you know, I, I just, it's whatever, right? Uh, but they're testing out some hibiscus stuff, uh, some tea stuff. So that's what we've got. So most of this is hibiscus, I believe, as far as I can remember. Well, no, sorry. Two of the drinks are hibiscus. You can get it as a tea or... Oh, shoot. Or you could spill it like myself. Um, so you could get it as a tea, or I think you can get it as a tea lemonade. That is going to be a nice spit, nice stain. Um, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and pose for a thumbnail with three of these drinks. The hibiscus, the monster strawberry lemonade, and the black it's called black tea i think is what it was called it's a mix of lemonade and tea on the app but they called it black tea on the menu board so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh get this thumbnail squared away and we're gonna start sipping on some drinks hopefully the hibiscus isn't some artificial disaster but with that like how would that even be possible right how could they screw that up so bad because hibiscus is such a niche flavor it's like why would you even make an attempt to make that artificial right so anyways we're gonna start with the monster monster strawberry lemonade there's so much going on in this one let's just get that one out of the way right The strawberry is definitely artificial. Um, but I definitely, you know, looking back a few years, they tested a strawberry shortcake latte in my area in, in Virginia. I did not approve of that. This, I, I can approve of this, right? The fruity and herbal combination. Green tea just feels like it can go with anything, right? Um, it goes well with coffee, surprisingly it goes well on its own you can throw honey in it i'm sure you could put chocolate in green tea and you, you, you can cringe but i'm sure it would work of course my mom drinks fruity green tea from lipton as is anyways so why should this surprise right lemonade strawberry and green tea it just works it's not too busy. I think the green tea definitely keeps the artificialness down too. Um, it's a very enjoyable beverage. Is it the top-notch, most amazing fruity beverage you're ever going to have? No, it's it's an 8 out of 10. Uh, but, I, again, I, I would say go try that. Go try it. I'm going to make sure our straw is cleared. And we're going to go for the black tea slash straw, uh, lemonade tea real quick. I love it when people park right beside me. Yeah, this is just average. Uh, Chick-fil-A's Sunjoy, definitely better. Yeah. I think, I, I you know, there, there's things about it that I like. Um, but there's not a lot to, to say about it. It's just tea with the nice twist of lemon, um, a little bit of pucker, a little bit of sweet. And it's enjoyable. But it's not the right home about, right? I'm going to give it a six. Um, just because it, it's solid. So now we got the hibiscus. This one's the tea. This one's the tea lemonade. So I guess get a little bit more. Of a sweetness, sassiness to it. So let's go ahead and just try the tea first, and then we'll switch over. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. I'm done with that. No. Moving on. Something is absolutely wrong with that flavor. I don't give ones out easy. I don't... I give tens out easier than I give ones. But I just feel like I may have drank... Grass? Weed? Marijuana? Like, I just drank a plant. Which hibiscus is a, is a flower. But you shouldn't, you're supposed to taste the fruity fluorescent flavor, not like this, like I just grabbed up the earth, just picked up a piece of the earth and said, I'm eating the earth today. I'm a kid. I'm going to eat the earth and see what it tastes like. I don't even want it. I'm going, when I get out of this car, I'm going into Harry's Teeter. I'm pouring these two drinks out. I don't even want to, I don't even want to do this. I don't. I already did it. So why do I want to why do I do it again? That's a lot better than a one. It's not great, but it's better than a one. Lemonade really saves the day on that one. Um, it definitely makes it more perplexing. Um, you're kind of walking into the flavor of hibiscus. And I guess this is probably artificial hibiscus. But definitely, definitely takes it up just another notch. I'd give it a four just because it's not great. Right? I'd rather be sitting there sipping on some lemonade tea or some delicious strawberry lemonade matcha. And call it a day but if you really want to test the waters and try the hibiscus get the one that's got lemonade in it because hibiscus tea oh my gosh that was awful so awful and trust me i mean every time they do these test releases i don't think i'm i think i'm yet to see it come out nationally at least at least in terms of the ones that I've tried. I tried some amazing apple cider they did. Never made it nationwide. That was like five years ago. I tried that strawberry shortcake like two or three years ago. Thankfully, never made it nationwide. I'd like to see them do that matcha with the strawberry lemonade nationwide. I'm sure. I don't know if they still have, if they still have matcha nationwide. But I'm sure you can put that together. You can mix that all together. You can tell them to do that. Um, lemonade tea, if they have that on the menu, if they have lemonade and tea on a regular menu, again, you can do that as well. But hibiscus, leave it alone. Just leave it alone, Duncan. Do what you're good at. That's just, your artificial refreshers can be a pain most of the time. And it was really a pain today. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see y'all around. Yeah.